It's so it. Bye. It's so nice. Oh, young travelers are so wonderful. They look at the world so differently and so gives me so much hope. I feel like I'm gonna get emotional, but. There are times in life where you make friends in the most unexpected places. For us, friendship has come from chance encounters at campsites, at an indigenous village in Ecuador, and on a 44 day hike all the way through Northern Spain. In this case, we feel that our new French friends have come across at just the right time. As you guys can see by now, we did not make it to our destination, the 10 or 12 or whatever hour drive. We had a couple stops we had to make and then we got tired. And then just when we'll close the video and said nothing else was gonna happen, guess what happened? Remember I said something's gonna happen? We picked up two hitchhikers and then we hung out with them all night as you guys saw. And they're gonna drive with us today. Was it fun Largo, having guests? Well, I mean, they were fun, but I mean, I didn't really interact with them. That's because you were listening to music the entire time, being antisocial. Guilty. They, they pitched their tent right outside, and they have, well, if you can hear, can you hear that? That's rain. It's been raining like all night long. I feel so bad for these guys. They've just been, I'm sure they're used to it at this point, because they've been out and about for uh, several weeks, if not months. Coming. Yeah, they're used to it, but a part of me almost felt like, do you guys want to sleep on our table? Right. But they're so used to it, and they're young. I'm sure, I'm sure they're like, no, this is part of the adventure. So part two mm -hmm. of the hitchhiking extravaganza of ours. They didn't kill us. Is, we yeah, survived. We survived, and, and we're going to take them sort of a little bit further down the road today. And poor guys right there, they're just getting doused in rain and trying to put their tents away. We should clear a dry spot in here for them. Well, they're going to be cleaner than us because they've been out in the rain. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. Wow, that's hardcore right there. Do you think this is something we would have done when we are this, this age, that age? No, we weren't that smart. That's true. We did not realize. Oh my gosh, you just turned my question on its head. <laughs> Each other at that age. No. We didn't know each other at that age, but we all, well, we might have. I don't know exactly right. how old they are. They're in their early 20s, I think. Right. So, uh, no, I, I don't think we would have done it because we had another plan. We were so, we were taught as Americans to kind of go after the our piece of the pie and it's, work and work and work and, yeah. and, you know, so we wouldn't have done it. Now, they're, they're the smartest people we've met so far in their 20s. It's, well, we meet a lot, and that's not true. Well, we meet a lot, meet of, a lot of them. we meet a lot of people Guys, we love the 20s. We meet a lot of people in their 20s. They give us so much hope for the future. Um, they're just doing cool stuff and making it their way. So love you, 20-somethings. Really, really, truly love you. You can come have a meal with us any day. Now, would we do this now? I would. Well, yeah. I absolutely would. But for the 20-somethings, we almost ran out of wine last night. So <laughs> wait till we stock up again. Wait till we stock up. Hey. Open it. Here's our guest. Hello. Hey, Come on in! in. <laughs> we just put it on bugs. Yep, let me move it over here. Here you go. Oh, well, I don't oh. know if you're gonna need your shoes or oh, not. That's I'll the time. <laughs> Sorry, it's wet. It's okay. So How'd you guys need? sleep? Nothing. Very well. Do you wanna go get yeah, in sleep very well, yeah. and you? Very good. <laughs> I have to take off yeah. a layer or something. Yeah, we, okay. did, we, we put on the heat early for you guys. We, do, <laughs> we don't do it for our own kids, but we'll do it for you. <laughs> and look at what we have this morning. This is what they slept on last night, guys. This is, I mean, right here, this is some serious puddles. As we go on our way, we decided to dig a little deeper with our new travel companions. Okay, so you guys, I was thinking about it as I'm driving. Is your only expense food? Yeah, we only expect expense food and sometimes freeway. When we take the freeway, we, you, you, yeah. we pay train. for okay. our train. Yeah. And then, but how, and how did you get to Norway? Did you take, did you fly or did you, did you hitchhike to Norway? Yeah. No, yeah, we, no, we take plane from Paris to Oslo. A plane. Okay. And uh, after from Oslo to Bode, we take train. Okay. And uh, after we take ferry to come in. Uh, from uh, from Bode to Moskenes, we take yeah. a ferry. And then we try to. And Moskenes, start it's uh, at the end of uh, of Lofoten. Yeah. Okay. Of Lofoten Island. So do you have a budget for your whole time? No, no, no. Uh, no. You don't. No, no, we don't. You don't. Do, we you have just uh, in uh, our account. Yeah. We have, uh, I think, a lot of money for five weeks, yeah. for okay. example. And wow. uh, we don't care. We spend 
less money than we can. Yeah. Right. And uh, how much do you think you'll spend in five weeks? In five weeks? Well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe two thousand. Wow. That's with uh, two people only. Yeah. So one thousand by. Uh, by people. Yeah. You get to see this amazing country for 1,000 each. Yeah. For five weeks. Yeah, for five weeks. All right. So those of you watching this, I don't want to hear any excuses that you can't travel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can travel yeah. with less money. Uh. Exactly. Well, that's what we always tell people. People are like, oh, it must be so nice. You must be rich. And we both said, we are we live a life now yeah. on much less money than we did when we lived in Boston. Okay. I think we spend less money in Norway than in France. But yeah. When we live in France, actually. And we always say, like, pay it forward. Like, one day you guys will pick up some hitchhikers. Yeah. You know, yeah. When you're old, like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. We're not. One of the things we have to do right now is we have to refill our propane tanks. Here in Norway, they are probably one of the most propane friendly countries that we've seen so far, which means that in every country that we've been to, there's always been like a, a tank swap in, swap out. So if you bring in a tank from like say France and you go to Germany, you can't really exchange that tank or fill that tank up because they just have their, their crazy rules. Here in Norway, you bring in any tank as long as it sort of works fine, you can refill them, which for us, it's amazing because tanks are really expensive here and the fittings sometimes are a little bit different so to have this opportunity to fill them up it's it's it makes this rv life in norway so much easier so you fill all tanks from all over yeah that's excellent We, we have two tanks. We have one tank that we got in France like a year plus ago and we have another tank that we got in Turkey like about six, seven, eight months ago. We're getting them both filled up. If we can go the entire time back to France without having to sort of swap out a tank, this would be the most ideal thing. And here in Norway, even though the gas prices are a little bit more expensive, the idea of not having to buy another tank is, is really the most appetizing. Sixteen kilos of gas, round, which took us about like forty dollars around there. There you go. We gotta take care of more business now. What are you doing down there? Are you picking up crumbs again? Trying to find a screwdriver. So right now we have a windshield wiper. It's been on the brinks, and we haven't taken initiative to fix it. Now it's not working at all. So in Norway, you cannot go without your windshield wiper working because it's raining all the time so so we actually have the original version of the owner's manual for this car except for it's in french we're super lucky <laughs> that our our companions for the day are fluent in french it's, go figure i'm so glad we didn't pick up a german <laughs> <laughs> they would say oh, italian vehicles they're yeah. awful windshield wipers Actually, not can, uh, yeah check all right <laughs> there's no free rides in life uh, yeah. they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're gonna help us right you're working they're reading it's the french, french manual and american people can see <laughs> it's it's french. French. the only thing i know is cheese <laughs> no my cheese we're hoping it's a fuse we're hoping it's a fuse and we are trying to impress our french guests that we can fix <laughs> we, on the fly <laughs> that we know what we're doing yeah. <laughs> And I don't know which... We trust in you. Yeah. <laughs> we will get you where you need to go safely. There's with a good windshield wipers. I don't know which one it is. We don't want to see your butt crack, so pull that <laughs> coat okay. down. Right, so which way am I going? So our, our quest to find a faulty fuse resulted in all fuses working just fine, which means it's deeper than just a fuse. We're going to go to a local mechanic because we think that, well, this we know that this is beyond our capabilities at this point. Okay, which way? Or, you, know, you can go that way. No? Yeah. Right over here and it's... And this is really hard driving in all this. Third exit. Which way now? We gotta be very careful. Which now. way, honey? Uh, straight. It's still not working. No. 
So right now we're heading towards our first mechanic to see if they can and take care of us. Um, we're gonna send Jessica in because we're thinking that the little sympathy card might come in. You know, you see a damsel in distress. <laughs> Norwegians are a sucker for that kind of thing. <laughs> Okay, so we're going in here. We're going in there. Oh boy, okay. We have one answer. <laughs> We've come back empty handed. Really? Yeah. She showed her boobs. I flirted with him and told him that everything long <laughs> hair and it still didn't work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they are too busy to do it today. He gave us the name of another place and then he made sure to tell us that it's Friday the 13th. Yeah. No, what? That, that's good. It is! Yeah. So basically jinxing us. <laughs> yeah, it's just good. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. So we, we have, we're still, we're not, we're not dead in the water yet. No, we did our best. We feel really bad coming back empty handed, especially after all the sacrifices we made in there. So it was time for me to go in and see if I could have a bit more luck than the girls. <laughs> all right, so round two, we are hoping for the best. Because at this point, it looks like the rain forecast is saying that it's not gonna rain anymore. However, you can only trust that so much. If these guys can't help us, we may just head. Come home right. if you don't have results. Um, well, I guess I'm staying in Norway for a while. Oh no, what they said? They said, uh, good luck today. Just because it's Friday? Because it's late on Friday, that's why. Late? Okay. Late, late. I don't want to stay here all weekend. Well, it's late for Norwegian because yeah. you finish yeah. work. They said they finish work before five. Yeah. Yeah, before five. Yeah. So at this point, we have two options: the weather's going to hold up, and as you go further south, I looked at the at the actual forecast, and they said that it's going to get better. Let's go. I think so, so too. If but the weather gets bad, we're not going to drive in it because we don't want to endanger any of us. Mm. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you guys make a decision if you want to go <laughs> on or what you want to do. We can, um, we can see the weather. Yeah. Like, I know. I don't want to. If we didn't have a deadline, we only have two weekends left in Norway. Two weekends. That's it. So if we end up staying here till Monday for them to fix it, we only have one weekend left. So I say we go. That's fine. Are you on? Are you on board with that? I don't think we have a choice. All right. Well, we do have a choice, but I don't want to stay here. All right. On the road again. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to get on the road again. Maybe some. Yeah. 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 So what does this all mean? This basically means we're going to continue driving. We're just going to drive really carefully, which means that. We see rain, we stop, and we gotta keep our eyes on the weather forecast. And this this route through Norway, we take off and we thought it's gonna be still gonna be here in the <laughs> And if we can shut the GPS up, you can hear me without having her interrupt. But either way, uh, Friday the 13th, people. Woo! Having windshield wiper envy myself. The rest of the drive took double the amount of time expected. We drove slow and we stopped more times than we can count. I'm gonna pull over for a couple minutes. Alright, so how's the rain going? Well, I'm pulling over. <laughs> it's been touch and go, hasn't it? It has been touch. We're never gonna make it there this way. We can stop. Let's go. I think we're okay. We've got like a five and a, five and a half hour drive, which is gonna take us 12 hours if we have to keep stopping. But the goal of driving and arriving safe was the most important thing for us, especially now that we are embracing a new business. So, so there's a new thing that we're coming to realize as world towners and as the world towning business owner that we as hitchhiking providers, transportation providers, that we will take you door to door at this point. We are about a minute away from dropping our friends off at their at their location and instead of saying, you know, where do you want and catch next ride, we're-, we're just, We just drop them on the side of the freeway. This is ballet service at this point. <laughs> we're, we're expecting cheese and wine when we arrive. <laughs> you you ride with us, left. Yeah, you-, you with us and it's, you it's red carpet service. It is red carpet service. Are you gonna miss them, Jess? Am I gonna miss? Yes, I'm gonna miss them. I feel like we're family now. Yeah. We may see you guys again if we end up down south together. And if we don't get our windshield wiper fixed and it's bad weather, you may pass us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 
Good. Don't get excited. We're not getting off here, kids. <laughs> We got four more hours. Well, you guys, for our first experience of her taking someone on hit hitchhiking, I'm sorry yeah. as I finish working here. I'm so this glad has been you amazing. didn't kill us. Yeah, I, I, I really, I really I am glad we had this. Uh, we, we haven't had this much social in, in, in a little while. Right, since so. the reindeer. Since, well, since, <laughs> yes, actually. Logo <laughs> loves group hugs. Are you missing out, buddy? I'm coming. Oh, <laughs> you're coming for the group hug, huh? Pug. Well, you can yeah. pretend yeah. Yeah. I'm hugging you. And I see nope. you all the time. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank so you. you yeah, well, we'll keep in touch through yeah, Instagram because sure. we might end yeah. up in the same spot. Yeah. And then That'd we'll give you guys a ride again. Yeah. Now that we know you're not going to sure. kill us, <laughs> we're not going to kill you. <laughs> so Bye. See you. Bye. 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 All right, quick. They may ask us to take us take them further. <laughs> we got to get out of here. That was so much fun. They were so nice. It's it's like really it. inspiring to see that they're doing this um, with just the cost of food and the kindness of strangers and finding their way out in nature and it's it's so inspiring. It really, really is. Um, if you want to travel, you can do it. You know, there's ways there's ways to do it, and people are willing to help along the way. And you can couch surf, and you can do all this these cultural exchanges. And oh, I, I feel emotional right now. It's so cool to travel. So with that, we are officially ending the vlog. What? Yes. Something else is gonna happen. Nothing else is gonna happen. <laughs> this is the official end of the vlog for today. Are you sure? Um, if yeah, yeah. Even if we pick someone else up, I'm not gonna record that. That I think we can only really have like one hitchhiker experience for for Norway. In two days. In two days. <laughs> All right. With that, we gotta go. See you guys in five minutes. What? See you guys in a minute. That's not doing? happening. <laughs> Bye, Bye. 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 Yeah, they were lovely. It was really fun. Um, so glad we got to hang out with them for two days. And you know, we may end up they may end up riding with us again if they end up down in the southern part at the same time as us. We're gonna have an online web store. We can they can book tickets. Right. We're gonna, we're gonna bring them with us all the way back to France. They're gonna stay with us for two months.